Bruce sounds like. It goes. Okay. Now on the count of three, everybody in the classroom is going to do the same thing. Teachers, block your ears. One, two, three. Now that's really what they sound like. They don't sound like anything like horses at all. They also go. But don't do that in your classroom, you might spit on your friends. There, in front of us, is a very special animal which makes almost no sound at all. And that is a giraffe. Let me just go a little bit closer. And before we talk about the giraffe, I mustn't ignore the other animals that are with the giraffe. They are called impala, and they are our most common antelope out here. There we go. Isn't that nice? Gosh, we've had a really lucky afternoon so far. And all these animals, all these spectacular creatures that we have out here, and I get to spend just about every single day with all these beautiful animals. It makes me feel very lucky indeed. And it also has a very nice fly swatter. You can see that on the back of its tail. It's a brilliant fly swatter for hitting away the flies and the ticks that come to sit on it and suck its blood. Nobody wants a creature on their bodies that is sucking the blood. Do they, Fergus? No. No, they don't. And now you may as well ask as well, of course, why it is that a giraffe should have patches like that on its skin. And again, I'm not sure that anybody truly knows the answer to that question. I suppose a little bit like the zebras, it might help them to hide a little bit in the bushes from the lions that might want to eat them. But this giraffe, you know, is probably, oh, how many meters tall is it? And then I'll have to work it out in feet. Just give me one second. The females are normally about three and a half meters, which, if we multiply it by 3.25, gets us to... ten and a half, plus a little bit, say about 12 feet. About 12 feet, 11 to 12 feet tall. So they're really tall. And Dina, you wanted to know how tall they are. Well, there you go. 11 to 12 feet for a cow, and for the bulls, ooh, they're even taller, they're about um, three feet taller than that. I'll tell you exactly, I'm just going to check my notes here. Sawyer, you want to know why the flies fly around them so much? I'm assuming you're not asking why they don't walk around them, but why there are so many flies there? Well... I think that you'll find that there are so many flies because there's lots for the flies to eat. So there's the giraffe will sweat and they will get dirty and they will produce, uh, well, they also have blood vessels close to the surface of the skin that the flies will bite and suck the blood out of. So it just helps them to, it helps, you know, the flies find a lot to eat on all of these animals, in the same way that they do with horses. I don't know if you've ever been around a horse or around a dirty dog. You'll find flies around those animals as well. But also, remember, a lot of the wild animals out here will have little nicks and scratches. Quite often they'll be injured. Uh, not seriously, but they'll have little scratches from the thorns, and they'll have little wounds from walking through the thick bush. And the flies then like to come and eat the blood out of those holes and things. You might just be able to hear the elephants calling there. <laughs> Dalton, I don't know how, somebody's obviously told you this, but you say, why are their tongues purple? Can you see a purple tongue there? But you're right, Dalton, they are purple. And I think the best, inf the best explanation I've ever, excuse me, best es explanation I've ever heard for why their tongues are purple, because you're absolutely right, Dalton, is they're purple, but only the bits of them that they stick out of the mouth. And the best explanation I've heard is that, of course, a purple or dark tongue won't burn in the sun. And if you watch carefully, you can see that their tongues spend a lot of time out of the mouth. 
and we think maybe that's why they're purple on the end. Now I'm just going to tell you that big male giraffe actually can get up to 5.2 meters, which is extremely tall. That is over 16 feet. So that's 16 or 17 feet. And some females can get as tall as ooh, 14 feet or so. So I mean they can get quite a lot taller than I said they could. Jordan, you want to know if giraffes have got any enemies? Well, an animal that big, remember, they weigh in. The males weigh, well, the biggest males weigh just uh, under, well, just over a ton. So about two and a half, or 2,200 pounds, and a female like that weighs about, ooh, let's say 1,800 pounds, 1,800 pounds or so. You can be sure that there are very few animals that would be able to take on a giraffe, but one of them is the lion. The African lion is definitely a predator of the giraffe and also very large groups of hyenas. Very large groups of hyenas will definitely take giraffe if they can. Now my friend Tristan who is the biggest member of our team has managed to find the biggest animal we get out here. <laughs> 